our senior colleague, Oku Malam Erofai, Nasri, where would they believe, say, if they are going to choose just one minister in this country, based on the, the position with Mr. President, even if they are going to choose just one minister, many of us believe in Erofai, it could be. Baba Erofai say not do it, you know. He said, I will be minister again. He said, I will be talk some nasty. I said, I will focus on the PhD. What do they do for Netherlands? What's it happen now? After the senior screening for ministers, the senators were really hailing him. So, let me say the screen, I just call up here. That I hate the hell and the so, so, they struggle to just talk good thing about him. Even the senator, when mistakenly won't ask a question, they shout to him and shut up. So, we thought his case was a done deal. Up until later, now we call yes, the Senate confirmed 45 people. They no confirm theory. And now we find 23 people where they no confirm. What see happen? We call it surprise. Only for us to yes, 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 bring up new case. Saying there's security challenge. So they want to do security investigation. Now, now you say as President Tinubu nominated we find to be minister. Nigeria start to petition SSS back to back. Yesterday, premium time report say there are petitions of human rights abuses. Petitions of unguarded comments and other petitions will flood the SSS office. So the SSS had to call for another security check. Now, now, our guy before I came back from London on Tuesday, booked a meeting with President, went to meet the President. President, come over there, explain to him and say, Baba, you give me 24 hours, make a check what's in the apple. And the said, No worry, I don't want to be senior, I don't want to be minister again. As a matter of fact, I will nominate somebody else to be the minister for you. Let me read the news. According to Premium Times, exclusive, Aerofy withdraws interest in ministerial appointment, recommends a replacement. The former governor of Cardinal State, Nasri Aerofy, has withdrawn in his interest in being part of President Bola Tinubu's cabinet. Premium Times can exclusively report. Presidency sources said Mr. Aerofy told President Tinubu at a meeting on Tuesday that he was no longer interested in becoming a minister. But would nominate, but would continue to contribute his quota to the development of Nigeria as a private citizen. He also told the president that he needed time to focus on his doctorate program at a university in the Netherlands. One of our sources said, "Mr. Erofai visited the president at the presidential villa a day after the Senate confirmed 45 ministerial nominees after a week-long screening of 48 of them. The upper legislative chamber, however, withheld his confirmation." And those of two others, citing security reports from the State Security Service for the action. The two others were a former senator for Taraba, Sani Danladi, and a nominee from Delta State, Stella Okutete. As I said, on becoming aware of the Senate pronouncement on his case, Mr. Erofai will only return to Nigeria from London on Monday, sought and got an appointment to meet the president. At the meeting on Tuesday afternoon, President Tinubu, according to our sources, told the former governor he received some petitions critical of his ministerial nomination. The president then asked for 24 hours grace to review the petitions and the SSS report to the Senate to enable him to reach a decision. It was at that point that Mr. Erufai responded that he was no longer interested in being minister since, since it appeared some forces around the president were scheming intensely to block his emergence as federal minister. Mr. Erofa has disclosed during his confirmation hearing on 1st of August that Mr. Tinubu asked him to work with him on the power problem facing the country. According to him, the president had given a target of seven years for Nigeria to stop experiencing power outrages, outrages in the country. At the Tuesday meeting, Mr. Erofa also reportedly told the president that since he would no longer be in the Federal Executive Council, he would return the next day with his team to present the preliminary work done so far on the energy sector. Mr. Erofa is studying for a doctorate in public policy at the United Nations University, Maastricht. His associates say, as he prepared to leave office as governor in May this year, he had indicated his desire to exit public life and concentrate on his PhD program. But, I, but that was until when President-elect Tinubu asked him to join his cabinet so he could charge him with the responsibility of repositioning the inefficient power sector in Africa's largest economy. It is unclear what suddenly went wrong between the two men, such that an agency of government would block Mr. Erufai's ministerial nomination without the president lifting a finger. The truth is, sometimes, I don't know what these men really they fight for. Whether or not they fight for their own self or 
I mean, like people who want shop once they don't enter, and right? they help them, they push them to fight. I really don't understand because I never fight over game money. You have saved enough, you don't get money. So, what the four years ago you became the minister for the FCT? That was doing Olusha Gunabasa job. The man don't retire since. Then you became governor of Kaduna State for eight years. What are you still finding in ministerial position? Is it money? You don't forget her. If they say that because you want to contribute your quota to the nation, to the country, you have contributed enough. According to uh, Madam King, Madam King, I think you people have contributed all that you have. That is if you won't have anything to contribute. You have contributed as a minister of the FCT. You have contributed as a governor. You still want to contribute? Like, no, like, this man won't become minister of power. Who? At what age? At 24, you are a minister. Let like younger people run this country with more recent ideas. Is it not obvious that people are running us with analog ideas? This is a power one and not fix since now, now. You will have been in the government that destroyed this country. If we complain about democracy, you will are in the government. Even the good luck, Jonathan, government, you are still there. So what are we complaining about? Baba, you don't try. Go and do your PhD. You need results so that we can call you doctor. Nashi, everybody has done well, amen? Now, now, they, they, some people, they want you to start to the president. Say, man, I'm so close to him. To, to the president, uh, an agency of government we, we bring up and something against the man, and the president will not lift a finger. Who think that you want me the president lift? It was Nigerians that sent those petitions to the SSS. Oh, you expect the president to, to ignore the petitions of Nigerians and just make a minister all of a way they support madness. When you see all these men, when they sing El Vice Praise, because when they went for the screening, now I heard that they hail a trap. When they see, sing this praise, Look at the people singing this praise. Is it the masses that are supposed to sing your praise of fellow politicians? Now, fellow politicians, they sing the praise. The only way fellow politicians sing your praise like that is if you have been doing things that favors politicians. And in this country, anybody where they do this way favor politicians is automatically doing things that does not favor the masses. Because we are politicians. We feel like we did parallel lines. We know they're about to meet. They are never coming to our aid. Anything they do is always against the masses.